This is Anna Rose. I am the CEO and co-founder of Videopath, an interactive video solution for content marketers and brands. I'm here at Tech Open Air 2016, and I'm sitting here with Marco Atisari. Marco, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm CEO and co-founder of Sync Project, a new kind of biotech company developing music as a precision medicine. So essentially we're uh, we built a platform to gather data on when people listen to music, what are the biometric effects on a personal level that that music listening has on them. And we mine that data to develop music as a personal medicine across a range of conditions like sleep, uh, movement, movement disorders, athletics, as well as pain. Mm. So uh, the scientific evidence is incredibly strong that uh, uh, music has these health effects. Intuitively, we know it. We self-medicate with music uh, every day. Uh, we get pumped up. We use music to relax. What we're doing is we're doing that with, in partnership with the best scientists and musicians uh, to discover these personalized signatures and to bring music therapeutics to the masses. Can you give me an example of like a case? So one person who's kind of gone through this yeah, process. There's studies have shown that, uh, for example, with pain, uh, if people are paid played the right music after an operation, they objectively require less opioids. Wow. And given the amount, the opioid epidemic, especially in the United States, if we could, using uh, personalized music, decrease the amount of morphine or opioid analgesics that people need, mm. that's an important thing. I'm curious about the sleep uh, idea as well. Is this, is this music that would be played while you're sleeping? Would it actually have an impact in, the, in deep sleep or is this? I think there are two ways to use music. One is more as a relaxation intervention before falling asleep. So it almost cues the evening's routines and calms you down. So oh, that's cool. prior to sleep. And then actually a Berlin-based composer, Max Richter, just wrote an eight-hour piece of music uh, to sleep too. And oh. so uh, that's, we're focusing more on the relaxation prior to sleep and uh, getting ready for Cool. What could you, do you think you could actually influence dreams or anything with this? Do you know if we, there's been uh, research we on this? We haven't, uh, uh, as far as I know, dreams can't be sensed biometrically or with sensors. <laughs> what we have is smartphones um, attached to biometric sensors and we're tracking different effects like heart rate, heart rate variability, and others. Um, our focus is really on using uh, music for health purposes. So. It's well known neurologically that when we listen to music, uh, our brains fire, the same regions fire uh, that fire when people um, use pharmaceuticals or psychostimulants, in other words, drugs. And so maybe if we can complement or replace some pills with uh, playlists tuned to your body, that's our goal. Uh, when it comes to this music, so you mentioned one, so Max actually made a comp composition. Are you usually using existing music pieces or are you creating a lot of original so, stuff? So we've started, everyone has a celestial jukebox of all the music in their pocket now with some yeah. streaming service, Berlin SoundCloud or Spotify or yeah. Apple Music. Now we're using the music people are already listening to to train the models, apply machine learning to these uh, um, it may be that the therapeutics involve some new music as well, but we think that just by curating, it's, think of it what we do with like a biometric music recommendation engine. So what, what we, should we play you to have that particular health effect with the existing catalog of music? What are you using to actually monitor that? We use a range of things, um, uh, ranging from smart watches uh, that measure heart rate. This ring measures sleep extremely accurately, oh. so uh, heart rate uh, very accurately. So. A bunch of sensors. We don't make the sensors. We don't make the music streaming service. We just bring these together mm -hmm. and create that data set. So we're, we're about the data and applying machine learning to that. Cool. Are you based here in Berlin? Where are you based? Uh, the company's uh, based in Boston. Oh, neat. Is there a way for people to actually get involved in this project? Actually, just here at Tech Open Air, we were approached every day with people saying, how can I be involved? So. We're doing these studies. We've also mined over 10 million playlists that people have tagged with sleep or relaxation, looked at that. But today we also ask that if you have an experience, so many of us have used music that has worked for us. Mm -hmm. So we ask that you share one song. If a song has worked for you to relax or for working out physical activity, just go to go.syncproject.co and you can recommend a song. Please share that uh, you've done that. And that way we spread the word. Our goal is a million songs to unlock the health effects of music. Cool. Thanks so much for sharing that. Um, I want to talk a little bit about TOA. This yep. is the event that we're at right now. What is this your first time at TOA? It is. Um, Eric Balforsch invited me, and I was happy to come. Oh, nice. Is this? What are your first impressions? What do you think? I think what makes uh, Tech Open Air unique, based on my experience this first time, is it's 
um, very anti-disciplinary. So you bring design, science, mm -hmm. art, and technology into the same room and those communities together. That's very unique, and more of that needs to happen. Cool. Do you, what do you imagine happening in your field in about 10 years? Can you imagine? I think uh, our sense of health, if we're talking about digital health and digital therapeutics, uh, it will be the case that the idea that our relationship to health is um, uh, an annual visit to a doctor or something like that will seem as odd wow. as that it'll be a continuous relationship of tracking and I think we'll see more and more non-pharmacological, non-drug interventions that have drug-like effects that Very help cool. improve health and well-being. That sounds like a good future. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next year.